I'm Peter and this is Peter Smiljana Qigong channel. Today I'm going to talk about a Tom Grain therapy and its uh, energetic aspect. Tom Tam, the founder of Tom Grain therapy, likes to explain uh, Tom Grain therapy in uh, terminology of Western science. He uses such words as dark matter, quantum healing and measuring frequencies of tapping just to explain and to explore furthermore the depth of this approach towards health and healing. With this measuring of frequencies, uh, of vi vibrations, of tapping, he's trying to explain what are the frequencies that are the most soothing for patients and which frequencies have the most healing properties. But I'm, in this video I'm not going to talk about uh, this uh, and I'm not going to give you answer on this. Uh, let me just say this, that the lower the frequency is and the more stable it is, the more healing effect has on a person being tapped. This therapy is not for everybody. And what was really interesting uh, for me is uh, that so many doctors are interested uh, in this uh, therapy. Well, not so many as they are inter interested in other things, but still. I couldn't believe that there are so many interested in such irrational thing as tapping on the doll as healing method. Are these people crazy? Yes, they are. The founder of Tongren Italy, Dr. Celerini, laughs and explains you need to open yourself to be cheerful and the energy will flow. I am crazy, sort of, since it helped me and so many others that I used to tap. These men that are using uh, this method for healing are not criminals, but are sometimes hiding in the shadow just giving help, they are oftentimes more responsible than any person working in the medicinal establishment. Why? Because they take time, they listen and they do no harm. They do it intuitively. Just do it diametrically opposite than the mainstream would expect from them. They are doing the highest art of healing. Let me explain. Once, uh, in the old China, in the times of Hua Tuo and Dr. Wang, who um, invented this uh, acupuncture breast man, Tong Ren, the highest art of healing was the healing on a distance. This was done uh, by observing the patient's body and just emanating qi into his energy field. But this was done without touch. It was done only by gliding uh, over his outer layer of qi, uh, called Wei Qi, and sometimes only by uh, looking. What I assume is that this uh, breast doll or breast man of acupuncture, Tom Gren, was once used in a vibrational medicine of that time. A doctor would tap on this breast man with a wooden stick or uh, on exact point on a meridian on that breast man and this vibration and his mind attention would then release the blockage in the energy flow. It is all about releasing energy blockage in the energy system. When there is no blockage energy can flow and you can uh, change naturally. At the end you come to a basic principle such as constant change, breath, openness, freedom and life. No big thing. You usually tap uh, this doll for a few minutes, sometimes 10 or even 15 minutes. Depends on a problem and depends on a case. Then you just leave it be. Sometimes you can also meditate or uh, emanate chi towards person being treated. Tom Tam calls, calls this part Qigong. I think though everything that he does is Qigong and since Qigong is translated as work with energy. 
this therapy is based uh, around uh, Hua Tuo Jan Ji points, which Tom Tam gave new meaning and described them differently. According to him, these are the points worthy of use. If you want some more information about this topic, please refer to my blog. First thing that you need to open when you start tapping is sky window, which are points large intestine 17 and large intestine 18. And already when you open these points, many things happen. You open blood circulation. A person relaxes since his vagus nerve and phrenic nerve open up. This is it for today. I hope I've inspired you to explore something new. In the next video, I'm going to tap a doll and do a healing protocol for all of you. If you are interested, watch me. It's going to be fun for me. Hope to share it with you. May the chi be with you. Bye.